What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hopefully you're all doing amazing whenever you're seeing this video. I'm coming to you all from my office. Welcome to my office. Yes, this is it. I thought I would change the scenery up a little bit. So yeah, here we are. If you like it this way, let me know down below in the comments. If you like it the old way, where I'm in the kitchen, also let me know down below in the comments. Anyways, everyone, I'm very excited about the video that I have for you all today because I'm gonna be eating the most popular items at Panda Express. Before I get started with this though, I need to know down below, right now, comment down below, what is your favorite item on the Panda Express menu? Chances are I will be eating it in today's video. I also got some all new deliciousness at the grocery store as well. Some new items that just came out and I'm excited to get into those as well. But before I get into this video, it's time for me to let you all know something very special. This video is being brought to you by by optimizers. I'm sure you all know by now how important it is for me to keep a well-regimented diet and supplementation routine so that I can keep doing food challenges on a weekly basis. This is where by optimizers comes in. By optimizer supplements have been game-changing for me over the years when it comes to optimizing my digestion. But one supplement in particular has been my favorite, Magnesium Breakthrough. <laughs> magnesium Breakthrough blends all seven forms of magnesium into one effective supplement. So you can stress less, relax more, sleep deeper, and experience more peace throughout your day. I bet you didn't know this, but when you get all seven critical forms of magnesium, your body gets a serious upgrade from your brain to your sleep and even with pain and inflammation. Once I started supplementing with Magnesium Breakthrough, I noticed a huge increase, not just in my sleep quality, but also in my day-to-day -day energy as well. Here's the deal, everyone. Buy Optimizers is gonna hook you up with a 10% off discount when you use code ERIC10 at checkout. All you gotta do is click the link located down below in the description. I think I'm gonna break this up into two rounds. First round's gonna have all of our deliciousness from the grocery store and the second round is going to have our Panda Express deliciousness. Without further ado, let's get into round number one. First things first, gotta have a little fresca. All right, where are my fresca people at? If you guys don't know about the deliciousness of fresca, you're truly missing out. First things first. All right, we have shakeups. These are birthday cake pebbles and they have waffle crisp in them as well. So it's like a sweet and salty cereal snack mix. I am very excited about these. Next on the list, we have Twix. I've never had a Twix egg before. I've had Reese's eggs, but I have not had Twix eggs. And since this is very close to Easter, it may actually be a little bit after Easter or a little bit before Easter, I thought I would get these, try these out. And next to the thing I am very, I'm actually the most excited about trying, we have Funfetti Jelly Beans. I actually saw these on social media and I did not think I was gonna find them and I found them randomly at my local grocery store. So getting into those as well. And just because I have to try them, I got these, all right? And I feel like I've had these before, but also I feel like I have not had these before. Regardless, I saw them and I could not remember if I had tried them, so I decided I wanted to get them. So here we are. And like usual, I'm gonna let you all know which ones are worth it and which ones are not worth it. These look actually really, really interesting. Okay, these are definitely the weirdest looking Pop-Tarts I've ever seen. They're straight up just yellow. It smells like an Echo Waffle with maple syrup on it. I'm actually really surprised. The filling on the inside, it's like a maple filling. I mean, they nailed this. Worth it. Those are dangerous. And I always get people that are like, Eric, why don't you toast your Pop-Tarts? It's a very valid thing to say, but in my honest opinion, I just don't think that Pop-Tarts toasted is going to change the flavor of them. That's just my, my honest opinion. So that's why I really just, I don't think it really matters that much. Next, we have the Twix eggs right here. And a lot of the eggs, egg things, come out around Easter. I'm actually going to be doing a egg Easter challenge this year. And it may actually drop around the time this video is coming out. So yeah, by the time it's out, you'll probably all be like, well, we already knew that, Eric. But anyways, here we are. This is my first time trying a Twix egg. That's the inside look right there. I wasn't really expecting the shortbread cookie on the inside to be like, as crunchy as it is, but not bad. I don't know if I would get them again, so I'm gonna say not worth it. Not for these. Oh man, these smell good. I think it's the Waffle Crisp coming through. I think Waffle Crisp is like one of the most underrated cereals of all time. If you haven't had it before, you are missing out. 
Cheers. It's a little underwhelming. Oh wait, these have salt. We had oh we had pretzels and I did not see that we had pretzels in this. Um I'm still trying to decide what I think about these. No, I'm sorry. Those are just uh, incredibly basic. I, I just don't think you can really combine, like the, the birthday cake pebbles are just not strong enough of a flavor to go with the waffle crisp and the pretzel bits just don't really, they just kind of feel like out of place. I wouldn't get these again at all. But onwards to the thing that I'm most excited for, we have Funfetti Jelly Beans. If you guys don't know what's going on here, Funfetti is actually a, it's like a frosting. So basically what they did is they put Funfetti in jelly bean form. It's one of those things where I have like pretty high expectations of, of this product and it's gonna be pretty devastating if these aren't what I think they are going to be. All right, so that's what we got. Let's see how these are gonna taste. What? These don't taste like funfetti at all. It's just like plastic. Ooh. Oh man, those are vile. Oh, everybody, I've had some, <laughs> I've had some gross things in my life, but geez. Oh, avoid those completely. Pop tarts definitely were the shot, were the uh, best item of this round. Everything else, huge thumbs down. Anyways, everyone, now it's time to get into our main round. It's time for our Panda Express. Dun, 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 dun. I'm actually really excited about this because Panda Express, it's always good, all right? But will the most popular items on the Panda Express menu be worth it, all right? And there's some of these items I've actually tried before and some of them I have not actually tried before. So I'm really curious to see how this is all gonna taste. That is what we got right here. All right, so I had a little bit of a lighting change. Yeah, here we are. All right, we have our Panda Express, our six entrees right here. And I just wanna say before I get started that I got the food list from a website called mash.com. Mash.com has a bunch of different articles about popular and not popular items. So here we are. Obviously got some, some veggie egg rolls. Veggie egg rolls are actually like the first item on their list for the most popular. So let's actually start with these. You know what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna see what my fortune is before we get started. Your seemingly lofty dream will come true. That's what it says. Hopefully it's accurate. For some reason I thought these came with dipping sauce, but apparently not. Oh, okay, their dipping sauces now come in packets because they put their sweet and sour sauce right here. Veggie egg rolls. The thing about these is that the flavor is so good, like all the time, but they just need to be a bit more crispy. They're still good though. Man, these things are dangerous. I wonder how many of these I could put down. That would be crazy. Okay, so now we have our first entree right here. So this entree I've most definitely had before. This is the black pepper chicken. And if you followed my channel for however long it, it is, you'll know I'm not the biggest spice guy, but I like a little bit of a kick here and there. This has got celery, onions, and I think that's it. Oh yeah. Mmm, that is solid. There's something about the uh, sauce they use in this. I have no idea what it is, but it is delicious. I just remember too. I opened up my fortune cookie without actually having my fortune cookie. Black pepper chicken, huge thumbs up. All right, now let's move on over to the next entree right here. Now this entree is the Beijing beef. Let's see what we got here. I think it's just peppers and onions in this. And beef, of course. Oh, yeah, the Beijing beef is always, always solid. Mm. That's good. I'm actually gonna do a little sweet and sour action on this. That's actually good. It cancels out any of the uh, spiciness. If I had to choose between the black pepper chicken or the Beijing beef, I would go with the black pepper chicken, but they're both amazing. All right, 
how to put them uh, back in the boxes. I'll save some for later. But anyways, yeah, here we go. We got four more entrees. I forgot to also let you all know that I'm gonna let you all know which one is the best. This one is actually the one I'm most looking forward to trying because I've never had it before. This is the wok seared shrimp. This was like number three on the list of MASH's website. I love shrimp, but I'm not really sure if this is going to be good because I have no idea what sauce they cook this in. Let's try it out. Interesting. I'm not a fan. I think the sauce they made it in is very, like, I just don't think it goes very well. For some reason, Panda Express's shrimp is just never to my liking. It's always like incredibly chewy and just not really that good. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a hard pass on that one. But if you guys like shrimp, maybe try it. Let's see if this next item is going to be redeeming. I think so, because personally, I think Panda Express actually does the teriyaki chicken game very well. I remember when I was in high school and they first came out with teriyaki chicken, I was in love with it, all right? I loved Panda Express's teriyaki chicken. We're gonna get in on it right here. Mmm. Mmm. It's so good. Obviously the teriyaki chicken is worth it, but will the last two items be worth it? And I'm really curious to, to see if you all can guess what the last two items are gonna be. If you guess fried rice, you're wrong because chow mein apparently is the most popular or I think the second most popular thing on the Panda Express menu. And I'm wondering if you can guess the number one thing on the Panda Express menu. And if you guessed orange chicken, you would be right. Number one is orange chicken. I mean, when I first saw it, I really wasn't that surprised because pretty much every person gets orange chicken if they go to Panda Express. If you don't, it's almost kind of weird. I mean, you really just can't go wrong with, with chow mein. You really can't. sauce up my nose. They make these so inconvenient to open. Oh gosh, that's gross. Orange chicken time. Legendary. And I've decided that the winners tonight are going to be not one thing, but two things. The chow mein and the orange chicken are the most delicious things on the Panda Express menu. So I'm going to agree with this mash.com article and just say that if you're gonna go to Panda Express, make sure you get the chow mein and the orange chicken. Everyone, if you agree with me, let me know down below in the comments. Let me know what your favorite item at Panda Express is. I'm gonna go ahead and put another video similar to this one right up there for you all to enjoy, along with a playlist up there for you all to enjoy as well. And if you're new around here and love these types of videos, subscribe to the channel, give the video a like, and I'll see you all in the next video.